guys, what's up? Hope you liked the first video. Um, this next one is gonna be the same exact triangle setup, but an uh, overhook instead of an underhook finish on the arm. So we'll start again from closed guard. Sleeve and collar grip is my favorite. It's very strong. I have good control of posture here. So we're gonna do the same exact setup as the last video where I come over, get whatever grip I can here. And Casey's gonna think I'm going for a choke, so he defends properly with his right arm. From here, I throw up the triangle. Um, and that's okay that his arm is in because I'm not really going to choke him here. I'm looking for an arm attack. Um, from here, let's say Casey's really strong and he postures up. I'm gonna keep my grip on his shoulder, letting go with my right hand. This time, I can't get the underhook because he's, he's postured up. It just doesn't make sense from here. Instead, I'm gonna grab his wrist here, push it to the ground, and get the overhook. From here, I could let go with my left hand, clasp my hands together, and pressure for the sh arm lock. From here, I'm right on the elbow. I don't wanna to be too high, I don't wanna to be too low. I'm right on the elbow, pressing in. One more time, from closed guard, collar and sleeve grip. I'm going to fake with a cross collar choke, so he defends, and I could bring up a triangle for control of his upper body. From here, Casey's really strong. He's able to posture up. I'm gonna keep this grip on his shoulder, but use my right hand to bring his hand to the ground. From here, I'm gonna get the overhook this time, and I'm gonna make sure my overhook is right on the back of his elbow. Once I get the overhook, I could grab my hands together and pressure in on his elbow for the submission. All right, guys, hope you liked it. Let us know if you have any questions on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube.